welcome, welcome. In today's video, we are going to explore the concept of planetary stations. I would like you to imagine a train. I'd like you to imagine a beautiful, wonderful, magical train. And imagine that for quite some time, the train has been on a journey west, west into the beautiful mountains, gorgeous, gorgeous land. But then, for whatever reason, the train now is needing to go on an easterly journey. It's needing to go in the opposite direction. So this big, heavy, metal train, that train is going to need to first stop, pause on the tracks, reconfigure it in order to prepare to go in the easterly direction. Now, normally when we see a train, if you've ever watched a train, I mean, it just rushes by. Like if you stand by the train tracks, it's like, whoa, you know, we normally see the train and we kind of understand the train and we experience the effects of the train. If the train stops on the tracks before beginning a new journey, then we really get to see the train. You can see all the little words on it and you can see every little detail and really that the presence of that train becomes known when it's paused. Similarly, during a planetary station, the significations of the planet are amplified significantly. And planetary stations happen when a planet is going from moving direct to moving retrograde, or if the planet is has been retrograde and it's now going to be moving direct. In a way, actually, like the magic of that planet the energy of that planet is temporarily amplified. Usually this is something that just happens for a day or a couple of days. You can suddenly actually come into a much better understanding of what that planet is and how it functions in your life. For example, when Saturn is stationing, you can find that you're much better able to understand, say, the karmic cycles in your life and to show up with a sense of authority and maturity and responsibility, ready to tackle and organize your life and tackle the challenges. And <laughs> recently, Pluto stationed and I just became so fixated on like the mysteries and the underworld and the secrets that are hidden all around us. One of my friends like even came up to me and the first thing he said to me that day is like, I feel so powerful. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, it's Pluto. It's like, it's Pluto stationing, you know? When I first became aware of the planetary stations, I didn't really know if what they said was true. You know, oh, okay, so, so this planetary energy is going to be amplified. We'll see. And this actually happened during a Mercury station. So Mercury was stationing to go retrograde. And at the time, it was in Scorpio, which rules my third house. And <laughs> I have a friend that I talk to like pretty regularly. And on a typical day, we would send some texts, send some audio messages here and there as we were going about our work and other things. We might exchange like 10 to 15 messages. Mercury, it's literally the planet that rules communication, talking, um, texting, messaging, ideas, thoughts, like words, like all of this kind of stuff. And I just started having so much to say to this friend. So I just started recording these little audio snippets. I need you to know this. Oh my gosh, I came across this. Oh, I have this message for you. Oh, this and that, this and that, this and that. And I knew it was like a lot, but I didn't know how much it was like until he started replying to like each and every single one and at the end of the day we decided to count and it was 220 messages 220 messages it was 200 i still like can hardly believe like 220 messages so it's about like 10 times the amount of like mercury juju as we call it that there is on a typical day when mercury stationed it was on that day that i really came to understand what the planetary station actually was at least in terms of how it operates in an individual's life so I just wanted to share that understanding with you guys today in this little video on planetary stations. 
If you liked this video and have interest in other astrological topics like this, please put them in the comments below. I would love to see you back here again on the channel very soon. So thank you all for listening today. Many blessings to all of you and namaste.